if you're looking for a quick getaway near Metro Manila, the city of San Fernando in Pampanga certainly has some exciting places that you can visit. It has must-visit historical places for history buffs and other great activities for the whole family to enjoy. This is San Fernando, a city and capital of the province of Pampanga in the central Luzon region. Remember to subscribe and ring the bell to get new video updates. Just two hours drive away from Metro Manila is the city of San Fernando, the capital of Pampanga best known for its great dishes like sisig, lechon, tocino and many more. The province of Pampanga is dubbed as the culinary capital of the Philippines which is why its capital San Fernando is certainly one of the best food destinations in the country. It also serves as one of the agricultural processing centers of central Luzon as the place is a major rice and sugar producing region. One of the best things to do when in the city of San Fernando is to visit its historic sites. The place houses many significant landmarks such as the San Fernando train station, which is absolutely a must-see in the city. The railway station was inaugurated in 1892 and served as the end point of the World War II, but on death march in 1942. After it has been closed by the Philippines National Railways in 1988, the old train station became one of the important landmarks in the city and is currently being preserved alongside the museum. The site also has a death march marker built to commemorate the Bataan Death March which took place in April 1942 when thousands of lives were lost after over 70,000 Filipino and American troops were forced by the Japanese forces to march more than 60 miles in extreme heat and with harsh treatment by Japanese guards during the early stages of the World War II. Also don't miss the Calesa ride when visiting the city of San Fernando. Riding the two-wheeled horse-drawn cart in downtown San Fernando is certainly the best way to get to the train station so you can experience the traditional means of transportation in the Philippines. Calesa ride in San Fernando is probably the cheapest too as compared to riding the horse-drawn carriage in other tourist places in the country. Other than the old train station, San Fernando has impressive old churches that are worth visiting. The Metropolitan Cathedral of San Fernando is absolutely a lovely and a historic church located in the heart of the city. It was built in the year 1750s during the Spanish colonial period and it is considered as one of the oldest churches in Pampanga. Just one kilometer away from the Metropolitan Cathedral is another beautiful church located along the San Jose Road. The Arzarbispado de Pampanga is a Roman Catholic church with a very impressive structure and architecture. It is open to all visitors and is surely a great place to capture beautiful photos. When visiting the city of San Fernando with the whole family, Pampanga's Sky Ranch will definitely give you a day of fun and enjoyment. This is situated in a 10,000 square meter land area adjacent to the SM City San Fernando Pampanga, which is the longest shopping mall in the Philippines and the largest mall in the region.
SM City Pampanga is definitely the perfect place to go after exploring the whole city. The huge shopping mall has lots of restaurants and stores where you can surely find everything. When visiting the area, you'll also find another shopping mall which is situated just opposite to the SM City Pampanga. The Robinson Star Mills is also huge. It does not have as many restaurants as its neighbor SM does, but it's also clean and has less crowds. Before leaving the city, do not forget to have a walk around San Fernando's downtown area and experience the everyday life of the place. Its busy public market offers a lot of affordable stuffs, and it has plenty of vendors selling the freshest meat, seafood and vegetables. If you want to ride a Kalesa, you'll find them parked just outside the city center's old public market. The locals here also love street foods, so you'll definitely find many street food vendors everywhere as you walk around the streets of downtown San Fernando. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell to get new video updates. Thank you for watching.